guys welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to show you guys how to make this dress so we are going to start from the bottom part i'm making it for a client and uh, okay so the first thing we're going to do is to cut the bottom so first thing is the length of the dress which is 40 minus her half length which is her shoulder to waist so it's 17 so that's going to give me 23 left right so i'm going to add 1.5 to it one inch of folding the edge half an inch of joining it to the waist so now I've gotten 24.5 is what I'm working with for the length of this, right? 24.5. So now I'm going to leave this one and move over to the waist. So her waist is 35 plus extra plus her nipple to nipple. There's a reason for that because this is going to be wrapped. So plus her nipple to nipple distance, which is 8 inches. And then plus extra um, 3 inches because I need 1.5 to fold each edge of the wrap. You can use one inch to fold each edge of the wrap or you can even use one inch for both sides that's half an inch on both sides if you're using lining to turn it over but for me i'm going to be using three inches because i one inch 1.5 on each side because i want it, the fold to be bold since i'm not going to be lining the bottom part of the skirt you understand so in total everything is about um it's going to be 47 and then you're going to whatever you get after calculating everything together divide it by 3.14 this is constant for everybody once you divide it for me i got about um i got what i got after dividing my own was about 14 or so right i got so guys if i calculate these three numbers together i'm going to get 46 and then I'm going to divide it by a constant for half a circle because the bottom is half a circle, which is going to be 1.1, 1. 1, 3.14 for everybody. Just once you calculate everything together, whatever you get, divide it by 3.14. So what I get, what I'm going to get after that is going to be 14. 0.7 so this 14.7 on this side plus this 24.5 on this side together should be approximately 40 inches so you're going to make sure now that is how you're going to calculate the length of the fabric you're working with we already know i'm using a cara fabric and we already know most times it's 45 or 46 by the um length but by the width make sure that whatever you get as the total from these two sides is going to be the fold of your fabric into two as you can see this fabric is folded into two here and then it's 40 inches this way so now let's go ahead and cut it so once you fold it into two just just so that you can be able to cut everything once fold it again this way this will help you to be able to fit in everything not that you can't cut it when it's still folded just into two but to, i need to fold it into four so that it will make it will make the work easier for me so now the first thing i'm going to do is up here i'm going to insert this um this 14.7 that i got is going to be the first measurement i'm going to put in here so i'm going to place my tape at this point and mark 14.7 14.7 14.7 and curve it so guys the first measurement i i got like i said the 14.75 is what i put in here for de determining the waist all the way down here right and then the second measurement if you're looking down at the bottom is now the total length you're working with which is that 40 inches i told you that i got that's the um, combination of these two calculations i got that 40 inches is actually what i marked from this beginning angle i put my tape and then i marked it at 40 inches all the way to this other end so now what i'm going to do is to go ahead and cut this so i'm going to cut this part out So guys you see i've cut off the first part the second part now you see that this second part would actually give me this 24.5 that i got before you see it's 24.5 that is here almost 25 this center part because i approximated the 40 so now this center part is just basically the length i need so now this is it if i open it up so you see this is the skirt here this is it still folded into two so let me notch the center back before i open it up so now when i open it you see what it looks like this is the skirt you see so the, this one is going to come over this way wrap in here and then this one is going to come over this way and wrap in here you understand so now let's set the, this aside 
um so guys now we are going to start upper part so this is it here i folded the fabric into two and this part here is on a fold and then i marked her shoulder to her her waist which is um 17 i added extra one inch to it so it's 18 here so now the next thing i'm going to do is to insert her shoulder measurement which is actually um 15 divided by two is going to give me eight um 7.5 so mark that just basically this is the back panel that we're starting with so you're just going to draft a, a, a basic bodice pattern so guys after that i'm going to just mark her bust divided by four which her bust is 38 divided by four is going to be 9.5 mark that and then add one inch of sewing allowance come down to the waist her waist divided by four her waist is 35 divided by four i'm going to mark mark it here and then i'm going to add extra two inches to it so that's basically what i'm working with connect it down here and then you're going to insert your dart so her nipple to nipple divided by two which is four here and then i'm going to mark it up to her chest line which is this armhole line mark it up to that point and then mark half an inch on both sides that's basically it for the back panel and then the next thing you're going to do is just to give it a curve here I'm going to mark three inches for the neckline and then remember i came down here by one inch for the shoulder slope so i'm just going to connect it all the way to this top here and then also you're going to come down one inch for the neckline at the back and then just connect it this way so this is basically all we need so i'm going to cut from this point all the way to the top So guys i folded my fabric into two so now what i have to do is to cut my front panel and as you can see i have her nipple to nipple measurement here which is four inches so i have extension after where my front panel is the center part here i have four inches there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut exactly the sides of this fabric the way it is and then i'm going to now so guys this is what we have like i said i'm tr i traced out the whole side exactly the same the neckline exactly the same so now what i have to do is just to flip this this way this way and then i'm going to come up here by at least one inch for my tie the belt part of it and then what i'm going to do is from this point now i'm going to just cut all the way to the top so i'm going to cut from here and blend it into the angle of the tip of the shoulder of this thing here like this Cut, just mark a, a line going straight from if you want you can just and like go all the way to the end here which i'm going to just blend it in you understand because i want my color to stop somewhere before the, the tie comes in so my color is going to stop at least somewhere here before my tie will now come in between here and then the skirt part you understand so my tie is going to the belt is going to come in between where this the, remember half an inch from here is still going to join to the skirt part so at least the band i'm going to put in that belt on top of where the skirt and the um the top part meets but more towards the top part you understand so now i'm going to cut off this excess so guys once that is done i have my um front and the back so you see this was taken out of this bottom part here so i'm going to remove it and then from this part that my dart is i'm going to notch it so that i know that this is also where my dart will be in front once this is done i'm going to separate the front and the back for the final changes that i need to make the next change for the back is that i came up here by one inch this will help the flay at the back to come up to your waist and not drop you understand so after you come up one inch you blend it into the side seam so i'm going to cut this up this is just that one inch that you remove whenever you're cutting your um for your your like when you're making something that has a zip you always remove one inch so that the zip doesn't bulk it also applies here except it just helps you so that the the, the flay doesn't drip at your back so now that that is removed i also notched my dart so now for the front another change that i need to make is just to take it in by half an inch by the armhole so just go in half an inch here just to help the sleeve relax better so i'm going to cut this off so guys now we have one back panel for the one for the back and then we have two pieces for the front so one is on this side 
and then this one is also on this side giving you the wrap so now what i'm going to do guys if you feel like this neck is too high i'm making this for um an older lady so i don't think she would want the neckline too high but i might still go back in and just trim out some like when i say trim out some i mean like this neckline now instead of the way it is this way i can just go from the top just so it relax a little bit just go from the top and just take away just slightly just to give it a little curve here because it will still have a color so you don't want it to be too close together you understand so now i'm going to go ahead and cut the sleeve also so guys this is the sleeve here it's folded into two so i came down four inches connected my line this way the width is just a armhole divided by two plus like one inch so what you're going to do is once you rule that line you're going to give it a curve above this way and then a curve below like this and then you're going to insert the sleeve length i'm using for her is just um it's going to be about 7.5 one inch of folding the edge half an inch of joining it here and then i'm going to insert her sleeve width which is going to be 13 divided by 2 is 6.5 plus 1 so that's going to be about 7.5 here so now i'm just going to connect from here all the way to this point so i'm just going to go ahead and cut this out so guys the the dress i've put everything together so the next thing you're going to do is to measure the color there are different ways to make this color in a in different video i can show you guys how to make the short color attached to the body of the clothes but this one i'm going to be using the easiest method for even a beginner to do so basically what i'm going to do now is this is the neckline you see i joined it together this way i just folded it together if i open it this is the body of the clothes but what i did is i found the center of the back put it together this way and then i put my tape here and start to measure down the neckline down all the way to the before you get to that fold of the band that straight one inch that we have here for where you're going to put in the belt i measure down to that point so what i have is 21 right you're going to start from the center back neckline this way and then you're going to measure come to the front and then stop where this part is before the part where you put in the belt i have 21 for mine so what you're going to do is i have the fabric here folded into two you can do the same color but i want the color to have black on top of it and the akara fabric below it but you can do one color for it right so what i'm going to do is i have 21 here but i added extra half an inch to close up the edge edge right so now so what i have is 21.5 you have to be sure that you get the exact measurement so now that is done what i'm going to do is bring back the top again and measure what you have for the just the back alone so for the back i what i have is about 3.5 i already measured it so you see this is the back neckline let me place it so you see you see the two sides of the shoulder this is it here what you're measuring is just the neckline at the back you know this this small piece of the neckline at the back measure what you have there so what i have is about three what i have from one point to the other is about 3.25 right so i'm going to take my fabric and then i'm going to measure from the end so guys like i said the length here is that 21 that i measured plus half an inch to close the end and then the next thing is just to add that 3.5 that i got for the back neckline and remember this is on a fold you see the folded part and then this is the opening there are four pieces here so um i'm going to mark the 3.25 first and then after that i'm going to come down to this end here and mark about 1.5 down here or you can do two inches depending on you you can do two inches you can do 1.5 so i'm going to just mark mine and then from these points here you're going to connect it to the end of this here so you're going to take it this way it will be better for you to use a curve or you can use a ruler any a straight part anyone that works fine so i'm going to just connect from here all the way to this point and then that's it i'm just going to cut this out cut out this part so guys now what i have to do is just to remove the pin you see what i have here remove the pin take the color the way it is now i'm going to notch the center so that i know where the center is and then i'm going to take these two together so you're going to open up one the part with the curve is where you're going to sew close first so this is the right side and then i'm going to face right side facing each other making sure that the notch is together the center of each of them is together and then what i'm going to do is to close up the parts with the curve 
making sure that the two right sides are it's facing each other inside here this is the right this is the right i'm going to just sew close using like half an inch or quarter of an inch and sew this curved part once i finish sewing it i'm going to close up with half an inch at the end half an inch at the end and flip it to the right side and then once i flip it i'll show you guys how i'm going to join it to the cloth so guys you see what i'm working with here so this is going to be the center of my collar and this is the end here so basically this end instead of that 1.5 guys i reduced it to about one inch and then blended it in more because i noticed that this part was a little bit too long for what i want if you look at the picture you see her own just blended into the side like it doesn't even have any it doesn't have up to one inch it just blends into the end of the seam but i'm just going to leave mine this way so but this is what it's going to look like so i'm going to sew it to the collar starting from this center and then guys the width i, I used for this is about um four inches or you can do 3.5 depending but i want to have a bold color especially by the neck so that when i fold it into two it's going to look something like this you see so when it's folded into two now coming over this way and then coming over this way it's going to just look like this you see so i want it a little bit bold by the neck and then but you can do normally people just do 3.5 or 3.75 for the weight before you even start to take away your seam allowances so this is what i have now so i'm going to take it the way it is now take my dress the way this way and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to just so guys i'm going to start from the center like i said i want the black on top so it's not that i can't do two black uh, or just stick to the same color anyone you want you can do so what i'm going to do is just to start from here i know where my notch is you see the notch for the center back neckline put it to the center um, of the collar and then i'm going to start this way you can start with just one layer and sew that one layer down all the way to the end right once you finish sewing that one layer you use the upper one to just cover it and then sew it to the other side the same thing for this one this, just sew one layer and then finish it up so i'm going to do that now so this is what it's going to look like on the neck here so i'm going to join mine and bring it back so guys this is it here the dress is done you see it's a wrap dress so it goes in one side guys you see why i said i reduced the end because if you notice even with her own it just blends in like very tiny by the end so like i said if you want once you get past the collar you can widen yours a little and then narrow it towards the end so guys this is it here so once um, this is what it looks like you can tell it's a wrap dress right so um what i'm going to do now is so guys this is it here i've gone ahead and joined it as you can see i used the belt at the end here and this here so guys um this is what it uh looks like here so you see how the color the color is coming down here is quite tiny but if you want you can make yours even wider at this top part here like in, instead of using a straight ruler you can give it a wider curve and then blend it down you understand like when that part where i use this side of the ruler you can use like a wider part so you can get this type of curve by the beginning and then narrow it down towards the end you understand like a big curve this way but you see i made mine straight so that's why everything is straight like this you understand so if you want that kind of curve you're going to use your curve ruler to get that curve and then narrow it down just the shape of this you understand you see this kind of curve here so that's basically what it looks like this one is the one on the inside and then this is the one above it here and then i made an opening on this side so that the belt can pass through and that's basically it here and this is the back just plain like this so thank you guys so much for your time and i'll see you in my next video please guys like share and subscribe bye